recent progress is relative. The last generation change in the cryoballoons was 2014, and the company is working on a new developed, newly developed uh, balloon right now. The uh, new second generation balloon had a more homogeneous um, distribution of the cryo energy compared to the previous version, so ablation was quicker and more uh, efficacious. In terms of efficacy, both types of energy are comparable. The fire and ice trial identified a similar rate of successful PVI in both arms, radio frequency and cryo balloon ablation. But cryo balloon is a little bit more standardized approach. It is a little bit easier to handle and as such it's a quicker way to relieve symptoms in patients with paroxysmal AF. With the first generation balloon you had to do ablations uh, for a five minute period twice per vein and right now most of the time it is a single ablation of uh, three minutes sufficient to isolate the vein and this increases speed of the procedure overall and you can also monitor success online. As it is a fairly simple procedure set up, it is widely apl applicable and many physicians will be able to provide this uh, kind of treatment to their patients.